Welcome back to another All Aboard Layout video. This episode I'm going to be doing a review video on the new Kato SD90 Mac. And in, I have an Indiana Railroad one here. They just came out about a month ago. I didn't have a camera to record the video because my old one is broken. And now I have an HD video camera, so hopefully this video is going to be in pretty high quality. So, I have assembled the locomotive here, as most of you hopefully know that you have to assemble Kato locomotives from the factory. So I have assembled, it was my first one, so I made a few mistakes. I have, I ran out of grab irons because I lost a bunch and broke a few and put a few little scratches in the locomotive, but nothing too major. So we'll go ahead and start off the review on the front of the locomotive here. As you can see, there are lots of small parts that I had to install. Got the windshield wipers, lots of warning labels, it's definitely the quietest running locomotive that I own. It looks really nice. The only problem with it that I've seen is that the ditch lights are not in the correct location. It's supposed to have high ditch lights and it has low ditch lights. I would have expected from Kato for them to have the prototypical ditch lights on it, but it's some people will have a problem with that. It's just fine with me. So go ahead and moving down the locomotive. As you can see, there are lots of warning labels. Got the logo here. Got some under detail piping and stuff like that. Now to the back of the locomotive. Lots of grills. It's a very long locomotive, my longest locomotive. It's quite, like an inch or two longer than my CSX Jeevo. Got the nice logo here. Head to the back of the locomotive. Got the headlight, MU cables, cut lever, lots of grab irons. At first, it was a little hard to get the grab irons to go in, but then I uh, figured out how to get them in better. And after that, it was pretty easy. So go ahead and cut the video here and head to the top. Here at the top of the locomotive, we'll start off on the front. As you can see, there are some nice, more uh, separately applied details. Got some nice roof details, more grab irons. Over here we got the exhaust, got the horn, here we have the fans, they're, I don't think they're see-through fans, but they're really nice, you can, can set, see that they are rough and that you can't like see inside of all this stuff and every, all the electronics inside, so, got another fan in the back here, some more grab irons. As you can see, it's a very long locomotive. I can't fit the entire thing over in the camera. So I'll go ahead and fire up the DCC system and we'll see how quiet this thing runs. Okay, we've got the power on. As you can see, I got the headlights on. They're nice gold and white LEDs. Unlike some of the uh, locomotives that have the bright blue LEDs, I do not like those at all. So this is really nice. It's nice and bright. So I'll go ahead and Zoom out here. There we go. Head over to the DCC system. There's a little bit of motor sounds, but it's not too bad. And it runs very nicely. Didn't have any derailment problems or anything at all when I ran it around the layout. Even at high speed, which is really nice. I tend to have derailment problems quite a bit and I'll have to go through and fix them. So it's a really nice runner. And it pulls quite a bit too, weighs quite a bit. 
So, high quality locomotive, lots of detail parts. I'll probably be adding a sound decoder to this one. So, that's it for this review video. I'll see you guys next time. And tell me what do you think of the new HD camera and how the quality is.